Hey guys, today we're going to be doing an upgrade on the bed for the Ender 3 or Ender 3 Pro. What we're going to be doing is something that you see in a lot of the forms online. It's going to be an upgrade of the springs and the adjustment knobs. Uh, these are the springs. Everyone talks about the yellow or gold, um, sometimes called orange springs. And then the adjustment knob. Uh, this is the aluminum instead of the plastic. And you can get these combined as a kit for, at the time of filming, about $10. Let's take a look. Okay guys, so to get this upgrade started, first thing I did was move my Z axis all the way up and my Y all the way forward. That gets that arm out of the way and gets the bed where everything's easy to access. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off, just completely unscrew these old handles at the bottom. Now that we got those off, we can lift up this bed. And the springs are going to just be sitting, they might be attached to the screws, or they'll be sitting loose. And then I'm going to flip it this back corner, you can see has a, a little bracket on it. And you want to be gentle with that, just move that up out of the way. Throw them off. And then we are going to be switching to these upgraded ones. Okay, we'll go ahead and put that one on, get it in the hole. Put the other back one just slides up on the spring there. Front one. And other front corner. Okay, and then you're just going to line those up with the holes that they came out of. Then you're going to grab your red nut and you'll see one side is completely flat. The other side has a little bit of a raised edge and that raised part is actually going to face up towards the ceiling as you screw these on. You do want to get all of them started before you start really cranking down on any of them. Okay, and then once they're on, you can go through and tighten everything up. I tend to try and tighten mine about halfway. Big thing is that you wanna make sure that the nozzle is not going to run into the bed when you home it. Okay, <clears throat> now that these are down, I'm gonna go ahead and start it up. I apologize for the noise, these are a little bit loud. We are just going to auto home this. We're just watching that nozzle to make sure that there is no issues with uh, it hitting the table. Close. So far, it's looking like it'll be good. Okay. So now we're going to disable the steppers. Then I'm just going to very lightly and slowly move this around the bed to each corner to make sure that we don't have any issues with it hitting. Okay, it is touching a little bit in this back corner. You're gonna tighten this down a little bit more. Okay, we're going to move back to this corner, just 
touch them a little bit there too. Just tighten this down a little bit more. And we are okay. good. Okay guys, that is how you do that bed upgrade on the Ender 3 or Ender 3 Pro. Go ahead and hit that like button if you found value in this video. Stay tuned, I am going to be adding a link to this upgrade in the description down below. I am going to be including links to a few other upgrades I always do to these printers when I get them in. You can take a look at those, see what works for you, and have it all together in uh, one little spot there. And feel free to comment below if there's any upgrades you haven't seen me do. Some of them I'm already got down here, I'm working on uh, getting some videos made and put out to you but if there's any upgrades you think I might have missed or haven't done yet go ahead and comment and I will look into those as well thank you and have a good day